Hi everyone, it's me John Waits, and yes, I'm back on the Waitrose channel. You just can't keep me away, can you? I've got a cracking recipe for you today, if I do say so myself. It's a one pot wonder, and it's made on the hob, in the oven, on the table, and it's dead easy to make, dead simple to throw together, and the family are gonna love it. It's so easy, so delicious. It's a curried chicken, rice, and lentil bake. Whenever you're making a one pot wonder, you've got to get everything prepared, and then you can just get cooking, get it in the oven, and then kick back and relax. So on the note, let's get some things prepared. An onion, just chop it in half and then slice it into just slices. Not fine, not thick. That's me onion, prepped and ready. Now I'm gonna get some ginger prepared. Just gonna take the skin off the ginger with a teaspoon. It's much easier to scrape it off than use a knife. And then you could spend a while trying to chop that finely with a sharp knife and a steady eye, but I sometimes think life is too short, so I just get a little grater. And great, 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 and shake, shake, shake as you go. Have a little boogie. I'm gonna pop it into a little pot, just so it's ready. And now I need to get some garlic ready, and seeing as I've mucked my grater up, I may as well just use that for the garlic as well, so three, fairly chunky garlic cloves. Just take the skins off. And what I do is I just get my, the flat of my knife, give it a bash, then chop the root end. The clove itself should unfold from that papery blanket. <laughs> Grate the garlic. That is the, and that goes with the ginger. My onion is chopped and ready. My garlic and ginger are minced and also ready, luckily. I've got my curry powder, my tomato puree, my stock, my salt, and then here I've got my rice and lentils which I've just weighed out and rinsed under cold water until the water runs clear. And that way it gets rid of any muck, any starches, and they're ready to cook. So although this is a one pot dish and it gets cooked in the oven, I do want to just fry the chicken a little bit, and that's completely for aesthetic reasons. It gives the chicken a lovely golden skin, and that way it looks gorgeous, and also it tastes better when it's nice and crispy. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of oil into my pan, get that nice and hot. So I'm using chicken thighs here with the skin on and the bone in, and that way, these will be much more succulent, and much more flavorful. You could use drumsticks, but you mustn't use breast for this recipe because it takes so long to cook in the oven that the breast would quite easily dry out. So I'm frying those skin side down just for a few minutes just to get a lovely golden colour on them. Give my hand a quick wash. Okay, so these are out a few minutes and I'm gonna just take them out and pop them back on the plate. You can see that skin is gorgeous and golden and crispy. That's the important part. You want it crispy. Okay. I'm gonna add the onion now. I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt because that'll help to draw all the moisture out of the onion get it evaporated and get the onion to cook a little bit quicker. So the onion is lovely and soft and a little bit coloured as well, nice and golden. And I can now add the other ingredients. So in with the ginger and garlic. You might think, why didn't he add his garlic with the onion? Well, that's something you shouldn't really do because garlic cooks off and burns much more quickly than onion does. So I always cook the onion down first and then add the garlic. So once you can smell that garlic and ginger, which is quite quickly actually after you've added it, I'm gonna then add the lentils and the rice. Now I use a mixture here of lentils and rice because that's what I had in my cupboard when I was making this recipe up. If you wanted to just use rice, you could just use rice. If you wanted to just use lentils, just use lentils. The world is your oyster with this recipe. Just make sure the weight is exactly the same. The one thing I wouldn't use is like a wild rice or a brown rice because they take much longer to cook and you don't want to be nibbling on raw rice when you sat down for dinner, do you? But just stir the rice and lentils in to coat them in that oniony, garlicky, gingery joy. And I'm gonna add some curry powder. I like it spicy, I like a kick in life. So I'm gonna use a hot curry powder. And if the idea of this recipe has got your juices flowing, you can get the full recipe by the link in the video description. Curry powder's in, I'm gonna add a bit of tomato puree as well just to give it an extra layer of flavour. Start to roast and toast that curry powder. And once that's well mixed, I can throw in my chicken stock. 
I like to use stock out of a little sachet, should we call it like this. But if you've already got some stock cubes or jelly pots located in your cupboards, feel free to use those. And it looks like a lot of stock here. You might think, oh, that poor dish is overwhelmed with stock. But don't forget, rice and lentils need all that juice to cook and absorb and fluff up and become beautifully tender. So it might look like a lot, but I have tested this recipe, don't you worry. I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning. Not too much, because I think with something like this, you need to taste it at the end to season it fully. But a little bit of salt right now, just a pinch, will help things flow nicely. I'm using both lentils and rice because that's what I had in my cupboard, but also I like that mixture. But what would you use? Let me know in the comments. The first signs of simmering are now in the pan, a few little pinprick bubbles here and there. I'm going to pop those chicken thighs back on top, skin side up, just let them float on top. And I'll give my hands a quick wash and I'm going to put this in the oven. Excuse me. And into the oven we go. Look at that, that rice is beautiful and fluffy underneath with a very slight crispy layer on top and that is exactly how I like it and I can't wait to dig in. Look at the colour of that lovely curried rice and lentil. It's a simple one pot wonder and it's now going straight into my mouth. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll be back very soon with some more wonderful recipes. Until then, cheers.